It's coming up to June, so welcome to a third edition of RAMP. This is a serendipitous acronym for the Rabbits All Comers Mapping Project, which I hold to encourage people to give Doom Mapping a try and to get to see their map in part of a larger project. Doom is an environment that I really like to build things in, it has a great community, and I hope that maybe if you've joined the channel recently from the My House videos, you might want to try it yourself as well. The learning curve is fairly gentle and maps don't have to be big projects. I encourage people to keep them small for this in the spirit of just experimenting and seeing what you can make. Uh, I aim for the project to be pretty much finished by the end of June, but I recommend just spending a couple of weeks on a map and submitting earlier than that so that other people can play it and you have time to adjust things if you want. The idea of RAMP is based around a hub level, which showcases the submitted maps and puts them into a wider game context. You can take a look at ramp.tmouse.net to see the previous year's projects, join the Discord for help, and in this video I'll walk through the process of setting yourself up to create Doom levels. You will need a Doom source port, which is the program used to run the game, a Doom iWOD file, which contains all the base resources and data that make up the game, and you're going to need a Doom editor. I have provided all three of these in the quick start pack linked in the description and on the site, so if you're on Windows you can download that and unzip it somewhere and you should get a head start. Uh, but all the individual tools in the starter pack are linked on the site as well. So here's the RAMP starter pack as downloaded from ramp2023.tmice.net. Uh, let's unpack this here and take a look at what's inside. So let's take a look at GZ Doom first. This is the source port we're going to be using. Uh, this is my personal favourite one to play Doom on. It's the one the project will eventually be built on, but you can use a different one if you prefer. I have also included an iWOD file, uh, so we have game resources to start with. This one is Free Doom Phase 2, which is a freely distributable alternative to the Doom 2 iWOD file. Anything that's played or made on Free Doom 2 should basically be playable and work the same on Doom 2. So if we start GZ Doom up, we will get the Free Doom title screen. Uh, you have a ton of options available in GZ Doom. By default, there's this sort of uh, smoothing filter over everything, which I don't really like, uh, but you can uh, adjust the options here as you see fit. If we go to New Game, then we will get the first level of Free Doom 2, and we can see that everything works from there. So that all seems to be working. If you do have a copy of Doom 2, uh, which you're quite likely to have even if you don't know it honestly, uh, then you can use the Doom 2 WOD file uh, in place of this. I'm going to go to my PR Boom directory which has it. Uh, and Doom 2.WOD, uh, you can get it through Steam, GOG, uh, it, it comes packaged in Doom 2016 I think and Doom Eternal. Uh, and the Doom 2.WOD out of that whole installation is just the file you want. So now I'm going to start up gzdoom.exe. Uh, in my gzdoom options it's set to by default open Doom 2 if it has it. You might get a menu saying uh, do you want to run this with Doom 2 or free Doom 2 or what. And by starting it up with Doom 2 what we get the Doom resources and levels instead. So we've got the game running, let's talk about how to edit this. I've included two editors in the starter pack. Uh, Slade 3 is good for looking at the contents of a WOD and manipulating it, and it's got a map editor built into it. Uh, and that's available for all platforms. Uh, UDB, Ultimate Doom Builder, uh, is built on Windows. It might work just about on other systems possibly, but this one happens to be my favourite one. Uh, it gets updated all the time, uh, no matter how new the copy is, when you download it you'll probably get an update uh, notification. I'm just going to cancel out that just now, because uh, we need to look at our game configurations. And we have a couple of options here. Uh, Doom Engine maps can be for several games and they can be one of several different formats. And those formats have different features in them. I've actually simplified the list in this starter pack download to just have three of the Doom ones. Uh, the original Doom format I've highlighted just now matches the game as it was in 1994. It's the most simple, but it's sometimes limited in ways that can be quite confusing. UDMF is a modern fan-made map format that gives you a ton of stuff that wasn't in the base game, such as portals and all kinds of scripting madness. And it's the most powerful and flexible format, but it's also the most overwhelming. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with the third option, Boom. Uh, Boom was a source port released at the end of the 90s, and it's got some very useful extensions to the base game while still being quite close to the original. 
Uh, so we want to set up the data resources uh, that this format will use, and that's going to be our doom 2 wad file. For the sake of consistency, I will use the one that I just put into the uh, ramp starter pack folder, and we'll say OK to that. If you do choose to use the UDMF format, uh, you will get a massive warning saying that UDB will have severely limited capabilities uh, if you don't include gzdoom.pk3. Uh, that's kind of an exaggeration, <laughs> uh, because if you're using doom2.wad, you're absolutely fine to build on that. Uh, but if you want to start getting into uh, custom monsters and items and things, uh, then you do need Jesus Doom PK3 in this. So if you are using UDMF, you will also want to put gzdoom.pk3 in there, and we'll drag that to the top so that it's loaded first. Sometimes this warning is still there, I don't know why, maybe I'll go and fix it later. But we'll stick with boom format for now, and we'll say OK to that, and then we'll start a new map. Uh, it'll give you the option to choose your format. I'm going to use boom. Uh, level name can be anything technically, but leave it at map01, uh, because by default, uh, GZ Doom and all the other source ports will start on map01. Uh, they'll look for a map called map01. Uh, you would change that if you were doing a project with multiple maps or making your own custom level slots. Okay, we've got our resource in here, doom2.1, so we're going to say OK. And that will give us a blank canvas to work with. I'll very quickly make a room by hitting Ctrl and D to start drawing. Not exactly symmetrical, but sometimes that's good in a Doom map. I'm going to hit T to go to Things mode, put in a player one start. And believe it or not, that really is all you need uh, for a functional, if not particularly glamorous, Doom 2 level. Uh, to test it out, uh, you can go to Game Configurations again, select the one you're using, and go to Testing. Uh, I've already got GZ Doom in here because I've set up UDB on this computer before, uh, but if you don't have it here, uh, you can click the plus and navigate to your preferred source port. Uh, these options here are the difficulty levels and whether monsters should be alive or not present. Uh, I'm going to set it there and hit Play. And that'll start up GZ Doom with our little test map in it. And that's you set up to start making a map. So later on, I'll post a video with me winging my way through making a basically complete, if small, map. Uh, if you do want to look at something more involved, then there are hundreds of tutorials for this around YouTube. Uh, if you look at my factory series or my cleanout series, uh, those are complete start to finish videos of uh, building a map and bug testing it and creating it. Uh, and you can also look at the previous year's ramp videos, uh, 2021 and 2022 have demonstration maps there as well. So if you are interested, please take a look at the site, take a look at the Discord. People, including me, will be very glad to help you on your way. And I hope you have a lot of fun trying to make a map. Special thanks to the super sponsors of my channel and the Ramp community. They are Schumann 3D Blast, Shine Wolf, Ryan Deville 23, Ministry of Ennui Control, Metric Conversion, Nubix Cube, Velsheran, A, Thingy, the Temporal Discussion Podcast, Lemon314, Lord Entropy, and many more. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade.